guys. Welcome back. Thought I'd do a bit of a, an impromptu live video. So I really wanted to play around with this resin a bit more. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, for you guys on the East Coast. I think that's the fastest crash I've ever had. <laughs> okay, are we back? <laughs> yep, anybody there? <laughs> Welcome to my buffer. Welcome. Okay, good. We're back. <laughs> oh, wow. So you probably missed everything that I just said. So I'm going to repeat myself. Um, we're using kind of a variety of coloring today. Hey, everybody. Um, and these are both um, stone coat mica powders. We've got coffee metallic and gold metallic. Yeah. Okay, and we're using Stone Coat Countertop Resin, their art resin, in case anyone missed that. This is a 12 by 12 wood board. I get these at Blix. All right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't forget to thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed that welcoming buffering at the beginning. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's 6,000 degrees in here. That could be it. It's breaking my phone. Hi, the charming giraffe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just started. Literally just started. I mean, I haven't even made a mess yet. So you're here just in time. This isn't going to be a longer live feed, um, but we'll have another live video tonight, of course, at 8.30 p.m., which will be a little bit longer. Hopefully, it'll be a little cooler by then. Aw, thanks, Matthew. Hi from Ecuador. Is that that black? I don't understand. <laughs> this black is just acrylic, um, acrylic paint. It's actually the Artist Loft Flow acrylics that I normally use. So, hi from Ontario, Canada. Yeah, this is going to be a two for day. All right, we're going to just get started. Everything's pretty liquidy, probably, like I said, because it's 6,000 degrees in here. So, I probably don't even need my um, heat gun. <laughs> Alright, we're going to just go for it. I don't have a specific plan for this, either. Except to make something flippin' cool. Alright. Oh, did I miss a birthday? Hey, Tesla, happy birthday. Yes, you can definitely get a shout out. All right, this is like a turquoise. So we've got black, purple, white, turquoise, and then we've got the metallics here. So this is gold metallic. Ooh, nice. It's also kind of, um. oh, yeah, no, this isn't that black. This is my own black. Um, <laughs> that just acrylic paint. They sent me a black metallic, but that turns a little bit gray. I'll have to try their regular black. Now that right there just looks really cool. <laughs> so, all right, then we'll go ahead and add this coffee. If I was going for an eye, I would just... Leave it like that. Libby, I don't understand. No resin yet? This is all resin. I don't understand your question. This is all resin mixed with various things. I'll say it again because um, maybe you missed that first part. Um, these are all stone coat countertops resin. Some are mixed with acrylic paint. These two uh, gold ones are... Um, the Stone Coat Countertop Metallic Mica Powders. This purple is um, acrylic ink. And then this um, turquoise color is resin tint. So that's what we're working with here today. Oh, okay. Yeah, so kind of a variety of colorings here. And we're gonna just kind of make something cool. I don't know what it's going to turn out to be, but so far, pretty darn cool. 
Um, I don't know if you can get resin at Walmart. Um, I doubt it though. Um, you could definitely get it at some art stores. Michael does have Michael's does have some resin, but from what I've heard of the resin that they do have, it is not very good. And like the working time is not long or anything. I don't know that firsthand. Um, stone coat countertops you can order theirs online. Um, and I'll actually put in the description after this video. I have a, you can type in MMG in the uh, checkout and it'll give you $30 off of $80. So I'll put that in the description afterwards too. Um, I loved, so everyone maybe saw my previous live video with the Stone Coat countertop resin, um, which I didn't show you guys dry yet because I'm actually still working on it. I'm doing some other additional layers. So I'm not going to show you guys until it is completely done, but it looks very different. Hey Lillian, welcome, welcome. Cool. All right. Yeah, the working time of Stone Coat is amazing. So, all right, this is fun. This is looking really cool. All right, I like these colors together. Let's see. And I'm definitely getting some crazy reactions. I think before I tilt this, I'll kind of give you guys a close up. Yeah, it looks awesome so far. Uh, what next? Let's do some white next. All right. And with some more turquoise. I don't think I need a lot more on here. So I'm just going to do a little bit more. And then we'll uh, go ahead and tilt. And some more black. All right, one more. And then I'll bring you guys in for a close up. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do a close up here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tilt. I know, right? I can't wait to see it either. Okay. So you can see on the edges here, the colors already reacting with each other. And look at this really cool, between the turquoise and the gold there, I got this really cool green. Yeah, and then with the whites, especially too, how the golds go into the white. It is awesome. Cool. All right. So I'm going to put this back, and then we're going to tilt it and see what happens. And try not to totally destroy it. Just kidding. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. And for any of you that are new here, I do go live every Monday night at 830 on my channel. 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. So if you can make it back, that would be awesome. Um, if I was trying to do an eye, I would probably have white, just white on the canvas surrounding it. I think. All right. Yeah. All right, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Hey, Shelly. All right. And just as a note, too, um, we're less than 4,000 away from 100,000 subscribers. So 
I would super, super, super appreciate um, any shares and, you know, telling your friends about the channel and everything. I think what I'm going to do here. Hey, Catherine. I know, right? I'm just losing my lines a little bit here. I'm going to actually add a little black on the outside here. I don't want to lose my pattern too much, but I may end up losing it. That's okay. Either way, won't be the end of the world. It's still going to look awesome. Okay. All right. The BWA, you are amazing. It is people like you that make me keep doing what I do. Seriously. You guys are all awesome. I have literally like the best friends in the world and that would be you guys. Okay. So far so good. Yep, we may end up with an unintentional geode here. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys hear my phone vibrating? I thought I put it on silent, apparently I put it on vibrate. I don't know if you guys can even hear that. Uh, this is a wood panel um, that I got from Blix. I'm just gonna help it along over here a bit. This is awesome. Okay, there we have it. I'm gonna touch up the edges a little here and then I'm gonna torch it, and then I'll bring y'all in for a close-up. Yeah, this is a 12 by 12 wood panel, and I get these at Blix. Um, I don't really know where else to get them. I'm sure there's like lots of other places. There's a couple local art stores to me that have them, but Blix is definitely the best. Well, Blix is local too. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. That is, you do hear it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, no, this resin has like hardly any odor at all. We got some killer lacing in here. So I'm going to torch this and then I'll bring you guys in for a close up. That is if I can get my torch unstuck. <laughs> All right, give me just a second, guys. I'm gonna try to. Apparently, I resined my torch shut <laughs> at some point. All right. Yeah, I'm very happy with these colors. Okay. So, minor hitch, I cannot get my, ah, oh, my torch open. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay. Now, for those of you who are used to acrylic pouring, um, you can definitely get away without torching acrylic pouring, but not resin, unfortunately. If you don't torch your resin, you'll get air bubbles, and then once it's dry, you'll be very sad. So, there we go. All right. Torched. Okay. Um, yes, this is not a sample kit. No, it's just their resin. Just their resin and then their... Um, 
They're metallic mica powder packs. These are the normal size. Um, and I have, I think like a gallon and a half of resin from them. They come in different sizes. You can order like a 32 ounce kit. Um, yeah, we're definitely leaving this. <laughs> um, you can order a gallon kit. You can order multiple gallons. And they have different kinds of resin depending on what you're doing. So this is art resin specifically. Um, yeah, look at that killer, killer lacing over here. That is crazy. And I did manage to maintain some of the lines. Um, there are no stupid questions. So the air bubbles, they don't really do anything. You'll just see them after it's dry. There'll be little bubbles in it. And instead of the perfectly like smooth, flat finish. I did not add any alcohol. Nope. Just the uh, resin and the colors. Nothing else, no alcohol, no silicone, no resi blast or whatever. Nothing. Can you resin a vase? I think so. Um, it's definitely on my list of things to try really soon. <laughs> All right, Lillian, are you waving or did you have a question? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. If you have any questions, hold on one second because I'm not going to be looking. And then we have, I have so much, I'm going to do another one. So one second, guys. Uh, you don't have to seal this. No, the resin is like self-sealing. So, all right, I said hold the questions for a second. <laughs> oh, you're waving. Okay, hi. <laughs> I'm not seeing any questions for the moment, so you may have to ask them again. Or someone else could potentially answer if they know the answer. All right. Good. That is in a safe spot. Um, and the next one we're going to do is going to be a canvas. Okay, I'm going to look real quick to see any questions that I missed. All right. Uh, how do you think to art resin? I haven't tried it long enough to tell, but um, so far I love both, honestly. Um, let me scroll back up here. Okay, nourishing parenting, how many paintings do you create in a week? I don't even know, like, probably anywhere from five to 15. All right, um, how much powder, how much resin? So the coloring, you wanna use one-tenth, basically, of the coloring to the resin. How long does it take to cure? It takes about uh, 24 hours to fully dry. What do you do with a wood panel? Just hang it, just like a normal, um, just like a normal painting, yeah. <laughs> okay. Where do you buy the resin from? This is from Stone Coat. Okay. Nope, oh, we're back. All right. Now, it is very hot in here, so I'm going to get this next painting done real fast. And then um, I'll go back to answering questions, okay, guys? Just because there is kind of a limited time. You know what? I'm going to put these on after. These are just little um, plastic spike things just to help hold it up, which works really well with wood, not as well with canvas, but that's okay. All right. So this, I have a bunch of clear resin left here. Are we back, everybody? Is everybody back? Let me know if you're not. <laughs> Let me know if you're not. How would you hear me if, if you weren't back? <laughs> Anyways, that was a trick, trick question, I tell you. Okay. Um, the other thing about resin, too, is it heats up. So right now, this resin is getting kind of hella hot. So I have got to move pretty fast. 
And I think we're just going to get an ocean vibe here. Yeah, it is about 115 degrees here today. I'm not even exaggerating. I wish I freaking was. Um, so, we're just going to move fast. Fast, 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 I tell you. I'm going to use various blues. I'm just going to use all kinds of cool stuff. And we're going to go fast. All right. Can I just mix? Fix these guys real quick. Uh, Rebecca, the art gallery was amazing. In case any of you didn't catch it on my Instagram or my Facebook, I did go last Saturday to Callen, uh, Callen Schwab's gallery opening here in Los Angeles. For those of you who don't know him, he's a Canadian artist. Um, he's really cool. Look him up on Instagram. He's just super cool. Go follow him on Instagram. I'll put that link to that too in the description after this. Um, but yeah, and I'm going to be meeting up with him sometime in the next couple weeks to do some kind of an interview. All right, we're going to pour this. So there we have gold. And here we have the coffee metallic. Bogger dripped something in my canvas. Okay. And remember, guys, I will answer all questions later. But for now, I'm running out of time a little bit with the resin. So I'm going to be moving pretty fast here. And I'm not going to be able to look at the questions. Kind of until I'm done. Sorry. Then I promise I will go back and answer all questions. All right, so we got white. And we've got some blue. Some of this turquoise. Let's throw some purple in there. is a dark blue mica powder. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um this is, okay, I think I'm just going to try to like peek and see if I can catch any questions. I think someone asked again what, uh, where I got the resin from. So this is Stone Coat Countertops Art Resin. And I will put the link in the description as soon as the video is done. And then um, also if you use the code MMG at checkout on their website, you get $30 off of orders of $80 or more. So that is a really cool added bonus. The guys there are just super cool. Like everyone that works there is just really, really stinking cool. I love working with these guys. And I hope to work with them a lot more. Cut up. All right. Just gonna mix a little more coloring in this one because it's a little too translucent. Okay, and then we're going to go in with more white. Yeah, it is really hot in here. Um, what's why I'm mo moving so fast is because these cups are getting really hot. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's a little like, oh no. Like the cups are literally burning in my hands. So, okay, I'm going to tilt this around a bit. 
And then I may use a heat gun. We'll see. I may just kind of tilt it around. And that might actually be sufficient. So we'll get this gold all the way down here. I'm so glad that you guys can't see me right now. Because <laughs> I'm literally like dripping, dripping. Um, yes, all resins get hot. It is um, part of their make. So it's just different resins have different working times. And it also really depends on the temperature of wherever you are working. So right now I'm working in an extremely hot garage, um, which is causing this the resin to cure a bit faster than normal. Unfortunately, I don't really have an option. Kind of got to make do with what I've got, and that's okay. Ooh, I'm very excited about this. I love it. There we go. Okay. So sorry I had to ignore everybody. I think we're good. I'm going to just torch this. There's definitely a lot of air bubbles in here. And, um, yeah. Yes, I am definitely lucky. I've come a long way. I used to literally have to paint in my bathtub or kitchen floor, you know, or outside on the sidewalk. So I'm very happy to have finally, after many, 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 many years of working diligently as an artist, have graduated to this space. Next stop is a space with air conditioning. That is my next goal in life. I didn't quite cover the edge with this gold. Um, I have a little more in my cup, so I'm actually gonna try to catch that. Um, okay, so the what kind of torch is best? I use this as, um, crap, I can't read it anymore. Um, let me actually have the box here. <laughs> it's a burns o -matic. Burns Omatic. Um, you can get it at Home Depot is where I got mine. Um, you can really just use like any butane torch. Some people use a cooking torch. Um, so it's really, I used to use a um, like cigarette lighter mini butane torch. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of edges need a little here. Um, but once I started doing resin specifically, I needed kind of a heavier duty torch so I got this one and it works out great if I'm doing something larger though like maybe a countertop or a desk or some or just a big canvas um, having the really big butane torch would be better my brother has one I might steal his or I'll just go buy my own <laughs> one or the other okay got the tops we got everything, I think. Let me check the other side. Yep, we're covered. All right, awesome. I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. And then, yeah, propane torch will work too. There's um, kind of a lot of different options. If you want something inexpensive that works very well, the one that I have right now, the burns matic torch is excellent it is really good and it's inexpensive and I got it at Home Depot I'm sure you could get it at Lowe's um yeah okay so let's do our close-up and then I will handle any and all other questions okay guys so sorry I had to work fast there yeah I love this too I can't wait to see how it dries um and I really wish the camera did this more justice because there are layers upon layers upon layers. Um, 
If you want to just try friend kits, um, but after that, yeah, it's not going to be worth it buying anything less than a gallon. Um, I mean, I my first starter kit was the, uh, I think, a 32-ounce kit. And then after that, the next order was two gallons. <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. Okay, guys. Well, this was fun and sweaty. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a breather and answer any questions now. Yes, this will be for sale. I, to be perfectly honest, don't like, don't really like to say for 100% sure um, until it's totally dry. So, but if you're interested in this piece specifically, email me and um, at info at the painter in you, and I'll we'll work out a price and everything. Um, yeah, and there will be a link to my Etsy in the description as soon as this is done. Uh, ratio of resin to mica powders. You do not water down the mica powders at all. Um, you put about 10, it's a ratio of about uh, 10 to 1, so 10 resin, 1 mica powder. So you just really need a little bit in there. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> fun and sweaty, yes. Uh, the, what was the question? Uh, okay, the prep time, yeah, the prep time is pretty decent. Um, well, it's not that bad, maybe like 20 minutes or so. So I thought I would do the prep before going live so that you guys could just really mostly see the fun stuff. I'm going to just set this aside on a safe place because this table's not level. So even if I leave it here while talking, we'll miss, miss some. Oh, keep moving. All right, there we go. Yep. I did just double check the sides. I got it all good. Okay. All right. Um, this is, so I used kind of a combination of things, actually. I used mica powders. I used um, acrylic ink, so I got this uh, Della Rowney. This is um, Velvet Violet. It's gorgeous. Um, so I wanted to try that out. And then I used some acrylic paint. Um, I used just like my normal Artist Loft acrylic paint. And I used, I did use some of the art resin, resin tints that I have here as well. So I kind of use a whole barrage of things. <laughs> um, I did not research any more into the mica flakes yet. However, I have used them in a project and it looks awesome. Um, I will not show you yet until I'm done. And Scooby, I do not know the answer to that one. Which <laughs> The question was, if you drip sweat on resin, does it make a cell? I don't know. All right. So um, I did see a question here on what does my drying space consist of? Um, it's a rack basically, and then I have plastic on it so that nothing sticks to it and the resin can drip down. Um, if using acrylic paint, do you mix the paint with Floetrol? Nope, just straight up paint. Um, Allie Clovis, that is awesome. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, okay, I'll show you guys my drying space real quick. This is not the optimum drying space, by the way, guys. <laughs> not the optimum. Um, if I will be doing, um, I'll be doing a better setup, but basically I have, I put plastic under there and then I put, whoa, I put this screen over it, which keeps the bugs and flies and anything else out of there. Uh, and no, with the resin, I do not use any Floetrol. So that's what that looks like. Not super duper exciting, but you know, yeah. Uh, I had this screen actually custom made for my bin. Best idea ever. 
Um, oh, by the way, while you guys are here, I'll just show you this one dry real quick. Uh, this is the one I did with my new heat gun the other day, which I love it. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. Do you get dips, holes in your painting you use resin and paint? Um, not that I've particularly noticed, but I think it just depends on your mixture and whatnot. Um, what influenced you to try resin again? I'm not sure how to answer that because I didn't really stop resin. I've been resining <laughs> for a while now and just kind of doing more of it. Um, and then someone asked, do you like using Etsy? Well, for starters, I do have another channel, guys. It's called The Business of Art. So I would recommend going and checking that out and subscribing to it as well. That handle, that covers all of the um, questions regarding business, <laughs> including selling art and YouTube and Etsy and whatnot. Uh, not everything is up there yet, but. Um, okay, I want to do a pour on tiles. Would I use countertop resin for outdoors? Um, resin is not particularly recommended for outdoors. But uh, if you did want to use it for outdoors, I would use, I think their countertop resin specifically is the highest UV. Um, but check it out with them. And it is called The Business of Art. That's what it's called. I'll put the link to that as well in the description. I'm going to have to remember to put all these links in there. Um, Rebecca, that is a question for the Business of Art channel. So... Yeah, you would have to look there. Um, okay, what would you recommend for someone who's never used resin before? Where's a good place to start? <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Wow, we're gonna be here a while with these questions. That's okay. I have about five more minutes to answer questions. Okay, so for someone who's never used resin before, I would uh, probably get, this is um, a quarter gallon kit from Stone Coat Resin. Um, it is a, it's definitely a good size to be able to try out a few different projects with and then they have their awesome um, different mica powders and whatnot. And you can, yeah, you can use the code uh, MMG at checkout for $30 off of $80. So that's a really good deal. Um, yeah, so I would check that out. Uh, Joe, it's on YouTube, the Business of Art channel on YouTube. Okay, Tara, yes, I did two paintings. I'm very sorry you missed it. Believer 3.0, this resin you cannot use on a kitchen counter, but this company, let me just put the bottle here. Uh, this company, Stone Coat Countertop, they have a countertop resin specifically. This is a, for artwork specifically. This is art resin. So, um... Luxury card store. Thank you for subscribing. You guys rock. Where do you get your canvases from? I get my wood boards from Blix and I get my canvases generally from Michaels. Sometimes I get from uh, Blix as well. Stone Coat does not have a strong odor indoors. Could you pour on a picture frame one day? Absolutely. I will definitely do that. Um, and I do have to get going guys. Any last questions that I missed real quick? Real quick. Cool. Yeah. Um, the they, These guys is their countertop resin specifically is, I believe, food safe. So. All right, guys. Yeah, they have really cool stuff. Okay, so if any of you can, um, definitely tune in at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time tonight. I would love to... See you there. Yes, I'm definitely doing that as well. <laughs> um, I got to go pick up my kiddo from school, feed her to put her to bed, and then I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back to hang out with you guys again. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.